Hey guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and we are here today with the E-Flight Havoc 80mm EDF jet behind me. I had a chance to take this bad boy out to the airfield today and do a couple of flights on it. We did the maiden and we did a few more flights after that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and code over to that video now and then we're going to come back here into the studio and talk to you about the jet a little bit. Stay tuned. Alright, on the Havoc I am running the Spectrum 6S 5000 milliamp hour 50c smart battery and i am running the cg at about 105 millimeters from the uh, leading edge of the wing root and i've got the battery sitting about an inch and a half from the rear there's like a rear shelf uh, here inside the havoc and you can see the rear edge of the battery there let's get a ruler in there And you see the back of the battery is about an inch and a half forward of that shelf and uh, right about in the middle of the battery straps. My uh, Havoc has three battery straps and uh, it's basically dead in the middle of those. Now the, the Spectrum uh, 5050C Smart Battery 6S is a little, you know, weird shaped. So your battery may not fit exactly like this one does. But this is how the, uh, the Spectrum Smart Battery sits in there. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Taking off, right, left. I lost it. I lost it. Sorry, y'all. a little bit to the right so I'm gonna give it some uh, some trim Time remaining to the elevator trim is excellent and this is all uh, oh you know trim settings right out of the box so it flies great And I'm flying on high rate, surprisingly, and it's doing great. I got 20% expo, and it's doing awesome. The uh, AS3X is definitely uh, making it fly a little easier. I have about 30 seconds left, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the gear down, gear down. and get the flaps deployed. And set up for my landing. 
landing. There we go, maiden flight of the E-Flight Havoc. It's a really cool little plane, it's fast though. They made it back guys, no <laughs> crashing. <laughs> it's actually a great little flyer. Let me go grab my battery checker. We were uh, just over three minutes of on throttle time there. And we'll see where the batteries came down. Again, I'm running the Spectrum Smart Battery. That is the uh, 6S5000 50C Smart Battery. And we'll go ahead and see where our cell voltages are at. All right, we're three eight zeros across the board. Awesome. So, yeah, about a three minute flight, um, but that was, you know, good amount of on throttle time. A couple of high speed, uh, high speed passes there, and uh, it flies great. No All right, so there's our maiden flight, and we've got uh, some information in there about how to CG the battery as well. Uh, for this flight, we were using the Spectrum Smart battery, the 6S5050C battery. Uh, that battery seemed to work great. We got, uh, you know, good power with three-minute flight times. I didn't try doing, like, the 10-minute challenge or anything like that. I think that's, you know, kind of silly with an EDF, you know. I want to fly it fast. <laughs> so... Uh, everything about the plane is is pretty great. It's got a very uh, very sturdy landing gear. I did have a couple of bad landings, uh, you know, on the second and third flights that I did today. Uh, something else I noticed about it, and this is actually addressed in the manual, it does have a tendency to tip stall a little bit. Um, you know, it doesn't have a very long wingspan, uh, and there's no um, there's no you know. There's nothing built in, no little winglets or anything to, you know, to kind of assist with, um, with tip stalling and all. So it does have a tendency to tip stall if you get it too slow. So uh, there are some uh, some recommendations in the manual for how to uh, how to address that. Uh, all the settings on the airplane, I I have it set up in accordance with the manual. So everything in there from uh, from setting up the elevators. You know, I think I've got like a little bit of, um, I think I've got some down elevator deflection in the, in the elevators, um, just, just out of the gate, uh, which is in accordance with the manual. I've got all of the, you know, I, I did my CG at 105 millimeters, uh, and the recommended CG I think is 100 to 125, which is a pretty, pretty, um, you know, generous uh, CG. I ran it, you know, pretty far forward, but, uh, you know, for a maiden flight, it seemed to work out real well. And uh, the plane handled fantastic. Um, you know, as far as trim goes, all I had to give it was a little bit of right, uh, right aileron trim. It was rolling to the left just a hair, uh, but the elevator was spot on uh, right out of the gate. I didn't have to do anything with the CG at 105. Uh, millimeters and running that spectrum uh, battery of course your mileage may vary depending on what kind of battery you're using um, so I really don't have anything uh, bad to say about it the plane flies awesome um, it's very acrobatic uh, or aerobatic I guess would be the right word for that it has incredible roll rate um, you know, I didn't really do any loops in the flights that I was doing today we had some pretty bad wind so I didn't want it to kind of get caught uh, you know, with wind on its belly, you know, presenting, uh, presenting that much, 
uh, surface area to the wind, I don't think would have been would have been that great of an idea. But uh, it does have great rolls, um, and uh, you know the the speed was was excellent. Um, and I think that anyone who's seen you know having videos in the past can tell you, uh, you know, that the havoc. I mean, it definitely will move. Uh, it's got a uh, an in runner, uh, twelve blade, two thousand millimeter, or sorry, two thousand kV uh, in runner motor. So the thing will, you know, it'll get up and move. It's a a great EDF unit in this thing. Uh, it sounds great. It looks pretty cool. I'll tell you the uh, the green on the pictures. It, it, it the pictures don't do it justice. I, I think that you have to hold it in your hands and and have it sitting in front of you to really uh, to really appreciate the green. Uh, in fact, I appreciate the green so much that I've got a special surprise for you guys. It's stuck here till the end. We're going to get to the secret of this havoc right here. All right, guys. So for those of you who stuck around to the end of the video, I've got a special surprise for you. When I got this havoc, I had to have something pretty cool. I asked uh, Guniak from Guniak's RC EDF Creations if he could make me a green afterburner. And uh, he pretty much knocked it out of the park. You can't see it very good in the videos, but it's definitely there. Uh, but we're going to let you see it up close and personal. All right, so again, big shout out to Guniak from Guniak's RC EDF Creations. Uh, if you want... To get in touch with Guniak about making you your own afterburner for your EDF, he can make EDF uh, afterburners for almost any uh, EDF jet out there. Uh, go ahead and get in touch with him on Facebook, and I will leave a link to his uh, Facebook page in the description below. Uh, we will also have links to the Havoc XE, IX12, and other various things that I use throughout the video in the description below, so be sure to check those out. And... Uh, also, kindly consider, if you would, uh, I have a link for PayPal down in the description if you'd like to support the channel. All contributions, big and small, are, uh, are greatly appreciated. They help out the channel and 100% of the proceeds that get donated uh, go right back into the channel. So thank you so much to those of you who have made contributions and they have not gone unnoticed and they've already started making a difference. So thank you very much. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're always notified when new videos come up. And also be sure to tune in to Air Marshal Mondays every Monday at 8 p.m. We run a live show here on the channel, and uh, be sure to tune in for it. It's always a lot of fun. We'll see you next time, guys.